Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I am packing to spend a week in New York. So we are going to go upstate New York, so Hudson Valley, to visit my family. We are going to be spending a day down in the city. So I'm trying to plan my outfits appropriately because I live in Arizona where it is already like 80 degrees here in February, March. Of course there would be a train going by right when I start trying to do this. However, in New York, it is like 20 or 30 degrees, so we needed to get a little creative with our outfits. But I thought I would share it with you in case any of you are crazy enough like me to spend your vacation in a cold climate. So I'm gonna start off with clothing because that is what I have out here before I throw it in the suitcase, which I am trying my best. This is what's gonna happen. So I had the kids all packed up in one like carry-on suitcase like this, where you put it up above the plane and then one little duffel bag that they can put under the seat. And then I'm going to do like, I have my tote bag that I'm gonna use as my personal effect for under the seat. And then I have my carry-on to go up above and then I have one big one to go down below because let's face it, I'm gonna bring a lot of crap and I'm gonna need a little bit more room. So I'm gonna be checking one bag. Let me show you what I'm packing. Okay, so for flying on the plane, I found this super cute t-shirt from Walmart of all places. This is the short sleeve pocket tee and it's from that new brand, Time and True, but I just thought it was super cute. I love the color, comfy, casual, yeah, all that goodness. But then I wanted like a kind of a comfy bra and this had a little bit of padding and a little bit of lift so I could feel like put together like I'm wearing a bra but without any sort of underwire. And it was like 10 bucks so figured I'd try that out. I just, I, it's all about it being as comfortable as possible. And then I just have this little hoodie that is really lightweight but will still keep me warm. And then just some yoga pants from Walmart as well. For day one, I have a long sleeve shirt from The Gap, but I like that it had these little details here. And I haven't worn this yet, but I tried it on. It was nice, and I was really surprised I was wearing a medium, so. And then some ripped up jeans. These are also some comfy jeans and a long sleeve shirt with this cute little detail on the bottom. It's just plain on the top, so I figured maybe I could wear like a little jacket that I have with it and wear my sneakers and just look comfy and casual and warm. Then for the day that we're gonna be down in the city, I I just wanted to layer as much as possible. So I'm gonna wear these jeans, which are a nice, thick, real denim jean. And then I have these, what do they call these things, where you wear them under your clothes to keep you warm. And then a nice silky t-shirt that I'm gonna wear under this sweater. This sweater's from Walmart too. I didn't mean to purchase a lot from Walmart, but I got this a little while ago and I wore it, I wanna say when we drove back from our New Year's um, vacation up in Flagstaff. It's long, it's warm, it's cute in the little detailing, it's very flattering in this area. So I love that and I figured you're not probably gonna see it because I'm probably gonna be wearing a jacket most of the day. We are gonna be doing a lot of walking. And then I found this jacket on clearance at Target. Let me show you this because it's super cute. It's got a hood, which I thought was perfect for when we're walking around. And it's supposed to be water resistant, wind resistant, compressible insulation. It was, just seemed warm and cozy. And this is kind of like a neoprene-ish, but it's like soft on the inside. So it's not scratchy or annoying. And then I did like that the collar was sort of a velvety texture. Figured that would be really good for that day. I know it's not dressy. I do have a dressier like wool jacket that I'm I'm so contemplating packing that too, but we'll see if it'll fit in the suitcase. So fun fact, I didn't end up wearing the outfit I had planned to to wear to the city. I actually ended up wearing this sweater that I got at Goodwill right after I had filmed that for $3. And I wore the wool jacket I was just talking about. I have inserted some pictures along the way through the video. I thought it was fun to kind of see how I wore everything. Then the next day is Saturday and that is St. Patrick's Day. So of course I wanted to wear my I Heart or Shamrock Guinness. But in case that's a bit too much for my very conservative family, I'm going to bring this adorable cacti t-shirt that I found at The Gap. And it was only like seven bucks. So super cute. I also found throughout like digging through all my stuff like a green flannel. Jeans. There's a theme comfortable jeans. 
Next one is going to be some black jeans. These are actually some ones I found on clearance at Target. A black and white flannel. This adorable striped t-shirt I found on clearance at The Gap, I want to say. Yep, The Gap. And then I was thinking of layering all of that with this because we're going to go to the Dave and Buster's on that day and I want to be fun and cute and comfortable and I thought maybe I could leave that in the car if it's too warm and then tie this around my weight. I, I don't know. I wanted to layer because I don't want to be cold. So the day before we pack up to leave, I have my Avenged Sevenfold t-shirt because I... I love that band. And then I have this adorable flannel from Vans. Oh, I'm so glad I splurged a little bit. I mean, for me, splurging is paying $25 for this because I found it on clearance. This is quality. Like, this is warm. It is thick. It is soft. I wore it on a warm day and I still felt cool. I don't know. Like, it's a magical flannel. I love it so much. And then some torn um, denim jeans. And these were from Torrid, I want to say. I got those on clearance, too. Another theme. Don't pay full price. Then on the day that we're going to be flying home, I have my pink hoodie. I don't know if you follow me on social media, but we were kind of chatting about this a couple weeks back. And then my game face includes mascara. It is this adorable long sleeve shirt with the little stripes on the arms. It is seriously the cutest shirt ever. And this was from Maurice's. And then some little workout leggings from Walmart again. And then my pajamas, I'm just gonna bring some like, like a little sweater thing, some leggings, some fuzzy stuff, and then another waffle pant because I'm so worried about being cold. But yeah, that is what I'm throwing in my suitcase. Hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully it's not too little. I hope it's just perfectly right. I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna be backing here in a second. I almost forgot to mention, I am going to be bringing my little slippers, my little Victoria's Secret ones. And then both these pairs of sneakers, I just picked up these Nikes. They're the Tangent, I believe it's called. They're so cute. They're super comfortable in the store. I want to use these the day that we are walking around the city. I know they're not anything fancy, but I'm not really going for fancy that day. I want to go for comfortable because I love the way these shoes look, but they're so not comfortable for me. I know they have the cloud foam in them, but I don't know what it is. And I just cleaned them up because they were a little scuffed up and dirty. So I'm going to be bringing both of these guys with me. I was going to bring some boots, army looking boots. And then I have the ones that are like traditional, like more dressy boots, but I don't, they just take up so much room and I don't know that I'd actually wear them with any of the outfits that I have going on. So I think I'm going to chance it. If anything, there's a Kohl's and a Walmart right next to where we're staying. So I'll just pop in there and grab some. And oh, you know what? I'll show you this real quick. Don't mind my very messy nightstand here we're like charging things and just mayhem right well I am not going to New York without my Claritin D and no this is not sponsored this is just quality of life right here and also I just sprayed my shoes with this stuff I ended up it was the end of my can like that's how much I like this stuff I believe in it I think it really does help keep them clean we're gonna work on toiletries now and I'm gonna pack everything in this adorable Betsy Johnson bag that I got years ago at like Ross or something and it has these little slips here and it zips up and cute little handles so I can kind of bring it along to the bathroom with me Love this love 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 that so much Okay, so let's talk about the, the necessities we have some body wash, which is one of my most favorite scents ever magic in the air from Bath and Body Works Of course contact solution and I have the case in the bathroom at the moment. I'll just remember to grab it course Listerine uh, one of my favorite what are these things called? oh my gosh I can't talk today toothpaste some floss I love this little container for refilling all of my q-tips in toothbrush all right skincare I did a chemical peel a while back and I only used about half the bottle of the face wash so I'm gonna bring that along skin perfecting lotion from Murad these bottles are only like 1.7 fluid ounces even though they look big so I think they should be fine to go on the plane and then the acne clearing solution. Bringing, in, bringing along a sample size of the Glow Tonic with some pads from Target. And then I have a recovering gel in case I'm breaking out quite a bit. This really helps to kind of heal everything up fast. In here, I took out and put in this little container the St. Ives Green Tea Acne Scrub because I cannot go without that. Then I got this bare mineral sample when I went for my birthday gift. I tried it one or two days and it really was nice. So then I saved it and put it away so I could bring it on the trip with me. 
two random little samples of eye gel and then in case my skin really acts up the peter thomas roth um max complexion pad it just kind of like really dries out your skin and kills your acne but i'll only use that in emergency status i really do like to hydrate my skin more so than strip it of course i had to bring these and i actually had a pack from our last trip so this is all the other stuff that i had like stored away in the bag that i'm not going to bring because these are like duplicates or half empty so this one was open and i couldn't remember how many were left in there so i'm not going to chance it i just brought a new pack they're like a dollar then because this guy is so big and i do really like using this h2o water bright illuminating night cream i decanted or whatever depotted it i don't know what the right verbiage is i put it in this little container which is also from the pca kit but this was emptied i used all the product and i filled it up with this guy so you can go back now i only have this tiny little guy to bring with me and then i have to bring these face masks with me i love them so much they're like a weird jello texture a little difficult to get on because you feel like you're gonna rip it but and they're like dry it's so weird, but they make my skin feel amazing. I feel like it calms down my acne, but it's not like an acne clearing thing. It just says it like detoxes, moisturize, and revitalize. I really like them, and I went and got more. So I could bring them with us. This is kind of like random stuff. We have some perfumes from Luxury Scent Box. Loved carrying these because you just swirl it up, spray it, and this one is actually almost gone. This one was my favorite. It is Encanto Shine by Salvatore Ferragamo. I don't know. I'm not even going to try that. So you just slip it back into the little casing, twist it down, good to go. I'm also going to bring this downy wrinkle release. It was one of those things where I looked at the travel stuff and I was like, oh, that could be helpful. I, have, I will probably not use that. And then just some random pretty little scents to bring with. Of course, I'm going to bring my deodorant. I've been really liking this one. I do have to apply it every single night and morning just to kind of make sure that I'm covered, but I really don't mind doing that. And then I really like this lip conditioner balm repair from Skin Fix. I have one of those on my nightstand right now, so I'm going to bring a fresh one with me. And then I kind of already talked about this last night was my pills and things like that, my medications and the different things I have to take for my thyroid and vitamins and love thyrox and stuff like that. I put in here Claritin D some what is this flonies my inhaler just in case i have an issue and then then in this little roller bottle i put balance from doTERRA it's my favorite all-time favorite essential oil and i had to bring it with me so i just brought a little in case it leaks or i don't know like i lose it or they throw it out i didn't want to i don't know i was just being conservative with bringing that so then on the plane i found this in my little travel stuff and i think it was from an ipsy bag so I mean, I guess that's what it's for. It's a thermal spring water spray. We'll try that. Um, oh, if I forgot my razor, I get to take the head off of it. It's from Shave Mob. I love it, and I will definitely be traveling with that. Uh, wet wipes, some band-aids. Of course, we have some ibuprofen. I'm going to see which container is smaller and just kind of bring one. And then, of course, girl stuff, because even though I'm not expecting it, shit happens. <laughs> Oh, and then some stuff for my son that I found in my things that I'm going to put go put in his little travel bag. And then I'm debating, I'm going to bring this. I used it a couple times and I really, really liked how this made my skin feel. I just, yeah, I'm bringing it. That's it. I'm bringing it. I do have a couple other things from the body shop. I'm definitely going to use this bag as like a little, because it's clear and exactly what the airline's looking for. But I also grabbed a couple of things with my birthday money for the body shop. I may... Hmm. I do have my Ahava um, shower gel and hand lotion that I do love. Which, where's my hand lotion? Oh, my hand lotion. This is my purse that I dumped out. Please tell me somebody else is a hot mess like me. I'm. This is just lip glosses and lipsticks. Like, this is... This is ridiculous. I should not be carrying this much nude lipsticks with me at any given time so i need to definitely go through here let's talk about hair stuff so i got these two sets here from beauty brands and a couple of little odds and ends that i had from like ipsy bags and things like that this is the eva nyc conditioner dry conditioner love that i did pick up some new hair ties because i'm not playing that game i'm not going to play find the hair ties so i'm not doing that so this set here i got this because it had a lot of hair things it had the joyco deep conditioning mask that i love so much 
but it had like an oil, it had a little baby hairbrush, um, big sexy hair, root plumper, chi oil, what is that, shampoo conditioner from Matrix, so that's like good stuff. And this was what, $5 I wanna say? Five or six dollars, and I like the clear bag because I'm gonna use the clear bag in my carry-on and maybe, no, maybe that's my carry-on and I'll put that in the checked bag, whatever it ends up being. I have another clear bag. And then this Travel Beauty Essentials. It was $15. Mind you, I used a $3.50 off 15 or $3.50 off 10, just like Ulta. Beauty Brands has that coupon too. And I got both of these for like 15 or 16 bucks. To me, it was worth it. Because even though I have like other, like this is more skincare, body care, I really didn't have too, too much hair stuff. Or if I did, they were like half empty already. So this, I really liked that and i haven't opened it just yet because i didn't want to like make a mess and not show you guys first but it looks like there's like a lip liner this redken i've been wanting to try that out a daily micro exfoliant from dermalogica a peter thomas roth cleanser i do like this this is a dry shampoo oh mineral body lotion yes because i just ran out of that one because that's the shower gel that i had over there the hand lotions in my purse and then i ran out of the body lotion which is a little bit thicker i do like that and then Cloud9 shampoo conditioner. I don't know anything about them, so I may bring the, both the Matrix and the Cloud9. And then we have an Amica texturizing spray and Intense Hydration Ultimate Repair from First Aid Beauty, a little eye mask, and a full-size fold-over travel wet hairbrush. As you already saw, I carry one, carry one of these in my regular purse because I love it so much. This one's getting really beat up though, so I may replace that with this new one. I mean, this alone is like $10, so for me, the kit was worth it. I'm gonna tear it apart and kinda pack away what I am gonna bring. Um, probably most of it, to be honest. Oh, and there's a little mascara from Tarte too. I missed that. Uh, I, I mean, it was worth it. I love it. It's got everything that I would need to travel in. There was one other set in a nail polish set, but those didn't really tickle my fancies. Okay, so real quick, I'll run through all of the makeup that I'm bringing. So up here, I have all my concealers. The Better Skin, the Tarte, the Revlon, what is this guy called? Color Stay, and then a Murad Acne one, just cause if I have any blemishes, that helps clear them up a little bit faster. And then for the face, we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. This is the Park Avenue Princess. I like that because it's a little bit shimmery, but the Bahama Mama is more matte. And the Butter Bronzer just smells amazing, and I feel like it really finishes off my look really nicely. I would typically bring my Vita Liberata bronzer, but the container is so much bigger. So, going with that guy. All right, we have our Tarte Blush in Feisty. I really like this one because it has more of a reddish tone. Whereas this one's a little more pink with a little bit of a nice finish. It's not quite matte. And then we have our more peachy, still the same. It has like a little bit of a finish to it from the Balm. Pour um, filling powder from Too Faced. Stay matte powder from Rimmel. And a finishing powder from Tarte. This lipstick here is typically in my purse, but I love this one. It's a new one from L'Oreal. And then we go on to eyeshadows. I have this shimmer from Bobbi Brown that I absolutely love. It's like a glittery shimmer. And then three different little mini palettes. Of course, this one I don't think is on the market anymore, but I figured since St. Patrick's Day, I was swatching out some different greens. This one won. And then of course, my all-time favorite CoverGirl one that I've hit pan on and a pretty pink one that I haven't really played with in a while, so figured I'd bring it along. We have our Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and then a Duo from Bare Minerals. It's just kind of like a sandy green color and um, like more of a champagne. So then we have the Bodyography Brow Powder Trio and I also have a new L'Oreal brow pencil. You guys recommended this to me when I was kind of asking about it because uh, all of my little pencils that are really thin I've ran out of so I've been just trying this out for the last two days. So far I like it but I guess we'll see if it'll live up to the humidity of New York. And then we have my favorite eyeliner from Physicians Formula. Some black coal liners from ColourPop. I have the NYX milk pencil to kind of back up the greens on this one and then a couple of mascaras two of these are from lancome this one's my favorite i don't even remember what it's called i think it's the hypnotic or something like that 
Hypnos Drama. This one is so good. I hate that I love it so much because I know it's a little bit pricey. And then Lash Paradise. This gives me the length, where is length and volume, but this kind of separates it and helps me out with that too. But it doesn't give me the length that I want, so I'm bringing it off. For foundations, I really couldn't decide. I was really torn. Um, right now, my current favorite is the Revlon, but it's a little bit too dark for me, so I do need something to mix in with it. I do love the Better Skin, but this is my last bottle of it. And, of course, a cult favorite, which is the Makeup Forever HD. All right, and we have the All Nighter Spray and some Milani Prime Shield to help keep my face matte because I'm going to be a greasy, humidified mess. In here, I have a ColourPop that I kind of depotted. This here is Bliss from Ofra. It's a highlighter, but I like to use it as an eyeshadow. This is the Urban Decay. Oh gosh, what is this one called? It's their highlighter that you get for your birthday. I have the full size, and then I also had a sample of it. Some ColourPop eyeshadows, and this is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour palette. It's in Fawn. So I really like that guy. Oh, I shouldn't have taken it out. There we go. And then this little eyeshadow is the Mary Kay one that I talk about in my all-time favorites. See, I find a way to bring it with me because I love it that much. And then over in the corner, I have two powders, the Better Skin. This is really great if I have some breakouts that I need to kind of fill in, like if they've broken the skin and I just need something to fill it in a bit. Whereas this has a little bit of a glittery shimmer. No, I shouldn't say glitter. Can you see that? It's just a little bit of shimmer, but it's translucent. So you see it, but you don't see it. It's light reflecting, so it's really nice. I like to use that under my eyes and I've been really liking it. I mean, it's old a goodie and then of course we have beauty blender i have it open because i need to go wash it it's disgusting some blotty pads and then i bring like this little doily thing to lay out on a table or the floor when i'm doing my makeup because i don't want to put my makeup on the floor of a hotel some lip products we have some elf bare minerals i'm really loving these but this is in slay and then i also have it in smooch really love those and the new elf lip oil and then the marvelous moxy lip gloss i also did bring this smashbox lipstick not because i particularly am in love with it or anything but it's red it's small i figured if i want to get crazy with the color that would be the great way to do it and of course of course burt's bees and then we have my mirror here so i'm going to bring this with it's not my typical mirror i actually bought this for the trip and the week before we had some people staying with us so you turn it on in the back here, Lily, and then you press here, or there we go, and it gets dimmer and lighter, so I can use that in the hotel in case there's no natural light. And I would normally pack my brushes in a brush roll, but I thought I would try something different th for this trip because I saw Jess from, oh my gosh, what is her channel? Uh, but her name's Jessica, and she said to travel with her Sigma brush case because then you could use it as a holder cup. So I'm going to bring all of my brushes in here. I'm not going to go through each individual brush, but maybe I could do a brush favorites video coming up shortly. So then I'll kind of like put those in here, put the top on. Nice. And this is everything I'm bringing for makeup. It's quite a bit, but it's for a week. It's not just like one or two days. And I really just, I don't know. This is my comfort level of bringing stuff. Could I have cut out maybe some blushes and some bronzers? Yeah. And powder. Yeah, probably. And even eyeshadow. I probably could have just bring this guy here. But since I had the room, I'm going to make it work. Okay, so I totally forgot to film an outro. So this is me saying goodbye. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything I forgot. Or maybe you didn't find this entertaining. Just let me know. Or if you really enjoyed it, we can film these moving forward. Maybe you're interested in hearing about our day down in the city. I could film something like that. I have tons of pictures and little clips I could share with you. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful trip because I'm guessing that you're watching this because you're going on a trip soon. So be safe, have fun, and I'll see you in my next video.